Aloha, Autumn. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the Valley Village Boutique in Queen Street West in Toronto. I didn't know what to expect. Um, it had some chatter on online and social media, uh, which led me to think of one thing, but I didn't find that to be the case. And here we are, we're gonna enter. It has similar hours to many of the ones outside of the downtown area, but not quite the same. So here we are, we're starting off on the first floor. Yes, we're kind of looking up high. Uh, there has one door that has a, more of an entrance, the other one is the checkout and exit. There's security guards at both entrances. I was looking at uh, things that are either uh, unisex kind of stuff or men's. There was a lot of women's clothes at this, this boutique. And these are all the men's. I did find a few things here. Not at the first glance, but here we are. We're going into it. We're looking for the Hawaiian shirts, like I usually do. And there's a few here. Now, I ex from the social media posts, I had expected something quite different in the store. That being that the prices would be significantly higher. But no, they're pretty well in the same ballpark as most of the other stores in the Valley Village group are in this area. Doesn't mean it's low, but it's, and they do have some, maybe they've got a few nicer things and they might be a little more expensive, but they also do the same kind of thing at the other stores as well. If, it's, if they find it's a certain slightly nicer label, they, they price it up a little higher. So yes, there were a few Hawaiian shirts there. And uh, here we go. Oh, they put the shoes above the, uh, the racking that's along the wall. Now they've got a significant collection of uh, jackets and pants along here, long sleeves in this section. And I don't usually find Hawaiian shirts in the long sleeves. I have found a few and there was one vintage shop that did have them. Uh, if you want to know that one, you go and look for the one that's in Fort Erie. It's a vintage shop, not a thrift shop. Here's one. I think it's twelve fifty for this one. Had to do with the label it had. That's the autumnal view. Yes, it's a little more, but it's also what label and what vintage that's noted to be. I didn't take that close a notation on it. I wasn't willing to go that high for, uh, and there's that one for 950. I, I would consider that as part of the grouping, but it's not specifically Hawaiian shirt, but it's in, in the ballpark, a collection of older vehicles printed in outline on a shirt. So there's some others that are contenders. This one's definitely a contender, although this is collarless uh, and it has a, a British brand. Uh, again, the higher end of the pricing range. It was $14.50. Here we are, we're looking along just in case we miss some in the other aisles. Sometimes you walk one way, you find things, you walk the other direction. You, hey, I didn't see that the first time. That's because some of the, the way they hang. And there's another contender. That's a really 
old color combo. Black and white, but it has to do with the patterning. Here's another one that's more in the of the business attire for a Hawaiian shirt. And then we went upstairs. That's the royal we of me, myself and I. We went up the stairs. I don't I didn't know at the time if there was an elevator or not, so I decided I'll just hoof it up. And there you can see the traffic on Queen Street. That's a, one of the streetcars. Accessories. These are supposed to all be women's clothes, so there's not much for me to necessarily find up here. But I did want to show folks what there is up here. Um, it is two floors, but there's a great big opening you'll see shortly between the upper and lower levels on one side of the store. It's not on both sides. So here you see this long racks of of women's tops, bottoms, skirts. Uh, and you can feel fairly comfortable. I felt okay with, and I'm, I'm not comfortable with the heights in that sense, but it, the handrail is up high enough, so it, it feels comfortable for me. It's a, probably at, uh, in the old way of measuring four feet, one, 1 1.44 meters. Shoes along the wall of, on top of the rack as it was uh, downstairs as well but they have more la layers of them up here because they have shorter racks or shorter clothes underneath and then we go ba back onto the first side where the stairs were to take another look at the other end of that part and we see they've got handbags over there and shoes on that side shoes and handbags along with the clothes as well and then I was searching around. Some of the shoes are, are on flat shelves, not on angled shelves, and they're a bit low or down. I thought that was an interesting way. It is very um, comfortable to be uh, looking around in this store. It's not feeling claustrophobic, or it's not, it's not quite as wide open as the regular Valley Village stores, but they also have are not carrying all the other stuff that the regular stores are. There's no hard goods, there's no small appliances, there's no furniture, there's no books. Uh, it's only clothing and accessories, shoes, and uh, handbags, and there's a little bit of jewelry on the first floor you'll see. Here we're going around the end of the opening to the other side of the second floor not the, the other side of the opening in the, on the second floor, which is in the second half of the store. And it's not as much in that side, but there is some. Here we are. It's a very narrow piece. Not overly narrow, but it's not big enough to put any clothing racks. Here you can look down on the first floor. There is an elevator here. I'm not sure if it's for the public or it's only for the use of the uh, employees. Um, unless they've upgraded it to a modern elevator, it may only be designated for staff to move the racks of clothes up and down from, it appears to be the bottom level, basement level. It may have been originally partly store, but I don't think it's part of the store at this moment from the the door was open, so I wasn't sure. So you'll see that in a bit. Here's some of the unmentionables. And we're headed back for the stairs at this point. They didn't want to wait for the elevator, even if it was open to the public. I have a feeling it is available. I'm not sure if it's been fully modernized. And I think at this point we're on the first floor because it's a large open space with uh, lots of racks. And um, yeah. you'll see this one point where I come up towards uh, a door here. 
like I said, the door was open, so I don't know what, and it doesn't have a sign on that side. It looks like it could have been originally part of the store that was there previously, but uh, didn't sound like it from what, and what I could, what little I could peek down, it looked more like it was the place where they set up the racks to come upstairs for restocking. So, it's just the two floors as far as I know. And, uh, yes, this place also, uh, all the boots. This is also one of those uh, Valley Villages with the self-checkout. Yes, of course, they always have at least one cashier for the, similar to the way they always had for returns in the regular stores that have converted to uh, self-checkout. So there's three or four of them. On the other side of the actual door is where the uh, jewelry set showcase is. You'd have to get someone to open it up to get access to uh, even look at them in, in your hand. But here we are. I'm not going to uh, pretend to say that I took a close enough to look to see if there was anything in the precious metals of any sort. but. I would hazard a guess that most of them are more on the costume jewelry end of it. Nicer stuff perhaps, but it's still costume. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour. I would appreciate if you give us a, a subscribe and a like and maybe even a mark on the bell so you know when the next video is uploaded. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.